All righty, everybody, a good Wednesday evening. A little check of your weather forecast now. Going to take uh, the camera lenses outside and check on those waters of Lake Michigan, which are actually fairly tranquil, despite the fact uh, we have had some breezes around, uh, say, 10 to 15, even 20 miles per hour. Once again, for a second straight day, the breeziest conditions have been found more inland, and uh, waves only on the order of a foot or two out there. They'll pick up a bit, though, for tomorrow, as northwest winds do increase just a bit and gust to uh, 20 to possibly as high as 30 miles per hour at times. So I think waves more on the order of, say, several feet or at least three to four feet for our Thursday. Grand Rapids, yeah, it turned out pretty overcast and pretty quick this morning. A bit of sunshine through those first few hours, but I think I saw by 9.30, 10, 10.30, 10 uh, we were definitely mostly cloudy and it have held that to primarily through the afternoon. There have been some bright spots in the clouds, but it hasn't helped out the mercury much. We topped out at 45 in GR, sitting in the lower 40s right now. Did get to 50, though, in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek, so several degrees warmer or milder for you, though a definitive cooler type of a feel versus what we've had so much recently. And to get used to it, as I've been saying in these weather casts, I mean, it's here to stay, this cooler type of a pattern, I think, for the next few weeks. 42 degrees at 7 o'clock. We're dropping back a couple degrees at uh, these increments here. So fair amount of clouds are going to be out and about. Uh, there may be a few breaks in these clouds as we head uh, deep evening and for the overnight. And when we do get some breaks, uh, these temps will drop back a little bit more. So we're talking about mid 30s, I think, to start the day on Thursday. And uh, I say damp. I think that's the way to describe it because certainly nothing heavy precipitation wise. We've been mentioning uh, in the forecast for a couple days now that overnight Wednesday Wednesday into Thursday morning. There could be a few spotty light showers and perhaps even a couple snowflakes in the overnight, but I'm not looking at any accumulations here within our viewing area. No major warm ups, however, expected either. And I'm talking the next two to three weeks, folks. So the same type of a pattern is going to be sticking around. It looks like a big roller coaster. And it kind of is as this trough just dominates the central and eastern United States, and that means cooler weather. Let's go to the charts and you'll see what I'm talking about. Obviously, the greens and the blues, uh, if you're looking for warm weather, that's not what you want to see on this particular map this time of year. But it's going to be one upper level low pressure system after another kind of just spinning down out of Canada. And you can see these height lines, the white lines on this map. These are not isobars. That's what they would be called at the surface. This is up several thousand miles uh, off the off the Earth's surface, and uh, actually about 15 to 20,000 miles is uh, uh, 20,000 feet, I should say, with the uh, with the white lines. They're called height lines, and uh, really showing you the direction of the storm track as well. So any storms coming out of Canada, upper level lows, really that we've had recently, they don't have a whole lot of moisture with them. So it's going to be a pretty dry forecast even in the next week. But a couple showers here and there. I'll tell you more about that coming up. Look at these temperatures, though. The next seven days, struggling to get out of the 50s, and I don't think. We will. We're not even going to get out of the 50s, uh, out of the 40s, I should say, for Thursday. So a second straight day in the 40s, it will be tomorrow. That upper low over the upper peninsula, that will send a little lobe of moisture down in here overnight tonight. The model just too optimistic with few clouds right now. There may be a few breaks tonight, but overall partly to mostly cloudy. And then here comes this little bit of moisture. Shows as some snowflakes. Doug and Derek, don't get excited. Nothing accumulating. It's probably more in the form of rain anyways. Just not accruing a whole lot. You see those clouds hanging on to Tomorrow, too. That means the temps will struggle. 45 today, folks. We may be like 45 again tomorrow. We'll jump into the 50s, though. Friday, same type of a pattern next week. Maybe a shower uh, by Monday, Tuesday. All right. Thank you, Anthony. So, we'll have an eight year old.